physical evidence, uh, some evidence from the ATM machine, and also through the interview process. We did have help uh, from multiple witnesses. I also want to thank uh, members of the Roseline community uh, for coming forward. Uh, we did receive numerous Crime Stoppers call, Crime Stopper calls, which was very helpful in this investigation. Local 12's Larry Davis spent the day talking with people who knew Daniel Muscarella very well. Larry, tell us uh, what they told you. Well, Rob, here at District 1 headquarters where police announced the arrest uh, less than two hours ago, the mayor and the city manager joining uh, police officials and expressing outrage over the killing. Daniel Muscarella tonight is being remembered as a man of faith who would give you the shirt off his back. Dan Muscarella, great family man, great neighborhood guy, always had a smile on his face, most jovial man you'd ever want to meet. Phil Riggs says he was a lucky man to have Dan Muscarella as his neighbor. He will never forget Dan's big smile and hearty laugh, not to mention those neighborly conversations. Could be the weather, just uh, could be religion, could be politics, you know, it, you know, Dan was up for any conversation and uh, always the most positive attitude you can imagine. The Anderson Township neighborhood where Muscarella lived was in a state of shock one day after Muscarella was shot and killed while repairing an ATM at the PNC Bank in Roselawn on Tuesday. Speaking to Local 12 News off camera today, Muscarella's wife Lynn says her husband was a committed Christian who took his faith seriously, a faithful husband and father who loved to fix things. Phil Riggs says he will miss Dan Muscarella as a friend and a neighbor. Dan would always uh, lend his uh, wrenches and his know-how to help you, you know, a neighbor and never ask for anything in return. Police say Dan Muscarella was ambushed and shot several times. Police are still looking for the gunman. Phil Riggs says his neighbor's killing makes no sense. This is the kind of thing you only see on the news happens to other people, but if anybody's watching this, I want them to know. You know, hug the person you love tonight for Dan Muscarella and realize this can happen to anybody, anywhere, anytime. And Rob, uh, again, uh, an arrest has been made. Yona Israel has been charged with murder. The killing of Daniel Muscarella, so senseless, uh, that is, so says so many people tonight. Police say he was shot several times, once in the head, and the man they say who shot him did not get a dime. Live at District 1 headquarters, Larry Davis, Local 12 News, Rob, back to you. You can think about this uh, many different ways, but it never makes any sense of why something like this would happen. But the difference in this case is that the community stepped in and helped the police department. That's what's going to end this kind of stuff, isn't it? Absolutely. There were so many witnesses, Rob, and there were so many tips to Crime Stoppers and to police in general. A lot of people stepped up. They're tired. Larry Davis, thanks very much. We heard from the company Muscarella worked for. A statement from Diebold says, we have lost an important and highly valued member of our family, and we cannot express the depth of our loss. We offer our deepest condolences to his family, and we'll support them in any way we can. We're working closely with authorities, and we'll continue to take appropriate steps to ensure the safety of our employees and the surrounding communities. Law enforcement